Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, I want to quickly demonstrate the interaction between lots of attributes. It's also a request that was made on my Discord. So I'm using the gas associated plugin and the Unreal Engine version is 5.1. Okay, so I have these attributes, health, mana, and then we have these damages for different types of element, fire, water, earth, air, attack power, and shield, okay. So there are two ways to approach this. And the problem statement is that a character can deal some fire damage, water damage, and the enemy is immune to certain kind of damages, for example, water damage. So they won't be affected by the water, but they will be affected by the fire or some base damage. Okay, so there are two ways to implement this, and this is one of the ways. So if I attack, attack the character, it has water immunity, water damage immunity, so it's not taking water damage, okay? So if I disable this water immunity from this character, don't worry, we'll take a look at the setup. So if I disable the water immunity, you see the damage is doubled, okay? So I'm dealing base damage as well as water damage to the character, okay? And there's another way, because we are not affecting the shield in this first way, but it's the easy way, it's blueprint only way. But if you go with the execution calculations, you see we are damaging the shield, okay? And then we start damaging the health of the character. And similarly, we can have some immunity and the character won't take any kind of damage, okay? So if I add the immunity to water damage to this character and try again, you see character is not taking any sort of damage, okay? So we'll be taking a look at this. First, we're looking to take a look at this setup. So I have this third person character. I'm just simply doing a lazy workout. I have this input attack. I'll have a video soon coming out for this enhanced input and how to use this with game playability system. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is just doing a sphere trace from the camera and checking if I'm overlapping any actor and getting the disability system component and applying this gameplay effect. Okay, and in the other example, I am activating this ability and if you look at this ability so we'll discuss this ability first because this is the easy way to implement this kind of damage okay so basically it's nothing just uh, getting the actor info now this is a lazy way i know but uh, just for the tutorial sake i'm going to keep this simple so basically i'm getting the enemy that is being targeted by our character okay and then i'm getting the applying the gameplay effect to the target and I'm applying separate gameplay effect to the target for each kind of damage. So I have this attack damage, water damage, and you can add those fire damage, earth damage, depending on your character. So the uh, thing is how to control these damages using gameplay tags, okay? So first of all, we're going to take a look at this third person character, the enemy, okay? So on begin play, I'm just simply doing is adding this loose gameplay tag, character immunity water. So if this tag is present on the enemy, any effect that has this present in this removal requirement tag requirement, this effect is not going to apply to that character. So for example, this child does not have this uh, tag applied to it on begin play. And we also change this to this one. Okay. And we test it out. So now the character is receiving water damage as well as this basic attack damage. Okay. So character is receiving this attack damage, the base attack damage, and this water damage as well. But if we apply this gameplay tag to the character, what happens is it's not receiving the water damage, but it's receiving the attack damage. So basically this is the easy way. Now there's very little control on how you can, like for example, multiply the base damage by the water damage or the other elements damage and there's no really no way to damage the shield and once the shield is depleted you can damage the um, health okay so this is just a simple gameplay effect that's modifying the health okay and this one sorry so it's just simply modifying the health by negative 10 and it has this removal tag requirement if this tag is present on the character it will not be applied to that character now this is a simple way so the hard way to do this and I'm calling this hard way because it has to be done in C++. There's no way to do this in Blueprints as of yet. We use the special gameplay effect class. Rather, than, It's a simple gameplay effect class and we use a special execution calculation 
inside of this gameplay effect that modifies and that has to be done in C++ and modifies multiple attributes at the same time using a single execution calculation class okay so to create this you just go to new C++ class and search for execution calculation so this is going to be this one gameplay effect execution calculation click on next and it's already too long so I'm going to call this GE exec and uh, element damage okay and it's going to be public and remember if you are using the plugin you have to create this inside of this guest associate plugin not inside of this project scope okay I'm going to create this okay so once the visual studio open I'm going to just simply copy and paste some of the code so it's easy for you to follow along okay okay so I have copied in the code to the file and in this file we can simply declare the scope as public and create this constructor for this function and just clear the declaration for this function we're going to overwrite this okay so I know going inside of C++ once again could be scary but um, I will try to get a series up for learning C++ from scratch and it's going to be just enough that you can understand all of these things inside of Unreal Engine okay and this code is also implemented in such a way that you can use this for your own project without needing too much modification uh, for this and you can use this as is okay so just follow along with me or this example okay so we have created this header file just these two functions okay and inside of CPU file we have created this included this header file for gas attribute set and we have this struct for capturing the source attribute and a struct for capturing the target attributes okay and uh, for the source I'm capturing the attack power fire air earth water and I'm using this declaration and definition macros to create some properties for these attributes for the source and similarly for the target I'm capturing the health and the shield because I want to modify these two attributes on the target okay and these two functions simply return these captured attributes <coughs> now inside of the constructor I am adding these attributes to be captured using this function okay so this attack power def is actually created by this macro okay so I'm capturing the source attributes and the target attributes inside of the constructor okay and inside of this execute implementation I'm going to actually modify uh, capture uh, use the captured attributes and start modifying the attributes on the target okay <coughs> so for this example I'm actually capturing the source tag and the target tags from the gameplay effect okay so the source is going to be our character and the target is going to be the enemy character okay so over here I have declared some variables to hold the values for the captured attribute for example for the source I have attack power fire earth water so these variables I'm going to just simply store those values and for the similarly for the target I have this health and shield over here I have these trying to calculate the magnitude of these uh, attributes and then store these inside of these variables okay so this is just a debug print for whatever attributes I have captured and their values okay and over here we are actually uh, checking if we have the gameplay tag on the target so if we check if the target tag has a tag of character immunity fire air earth water now these tags have to be declared inside of your engine um, inside of project setting if you go over gameplay tags so I have these tags over here character immunity air earth fire water okay and I, if I, I check for these tags and set the value of that attack damage on the source to zero now this doesn't modify the value on the source itself rather just these variables that are only used for calculation and discarded afterwards okay so I modify it and manually set them to zero if enemy has one of these tags or any of these tags okay you can have multiple tags okay and now I begin the actual calculation over here so because we have shield I check if we have no shield we direct, directly affect the health and if our character has some shield we deduct the damage from the shield and if shield goes below zero we subtract the remainder from the health okay this is just simple math and for the damage per element I'm actually doing is using the uh, element damage as a percentage so source fire is divided by 100 so the percent damage is multiplied by the attack power and then applied to the subtracted from the health okay similarly for the air damage earth and water damage all of these percentages are multiplied by the attack power okay 
So after all of this calculation is done, I just modified the target health and target shield. Okay. So this is the hard way to do this. I will make this code available so you can use this in your own project. So remember, these are the two ways to uh, use these uh, attribute interactions between lots of attributes if you have like this. So you can have some damage resistance to fire, but uh, vulnerability to water, for example. Okay. So I think this is it. Oh, I totally forgot. Once you have done encoding this, you can go. You cannot compile it from like this if you have live coding enabled. If you have live coding enabled, just press this button to compile this code once again on the fly. Okay, so once the compilation is done, you just go over your content browser and create a new blueprint class of the type gameplay effect. Okay, now don't create a class of this execution calculation, rather just create a gameplay effect class and call this GE element damage. Okay, and open this up. Inside of this class, what you want to do, okay. So I have to open this in another format, so I just close it and open it again. It opens up like this, and inside of this, what you want to do is just, instead of these modifiers, you're going to create an array element for this execution, and for the calculation class, we're going to use this element damage that we just created, compile and save this, and inside of your ability, or in my case, I'm using the, directly applying this inside of the character class, so I'm going to use this element damage over here, and we'll have the same effect. And now you can modify your <coughs> attributes for the uh, player character by using the initial data table or some gameplay effects. For example, a weapon can have earth damage and not water damage. So changing weapon would modify these attributes, okay? So I've set these to water 100 and it's not going to damage this character because we have no other kind of damage on this, okay? So this is it for this video. And if you need further clarification on this video, Please do let me know. I'll try to create another video for this. So this is it for this video. Thank you very much.